now seeing these heart sugar cookies. They have had them in uh, for Christmas. Um, I've never tried them. I don't think I will, but I'm just sharing with you guys. This time I'm seeing the Armor Oil Disinfectant cleaner in a can which I prefer because one of these bottles was leaking in my trunk um, so they did bring back the spray but now they have the disinfectant cleaner and this feels like you get more this is 19 ounces and this bottle was well, no it's not more this bottle is 24 fluid ounces so um, it's not a bad idea to have this in your car licensed name brand socks so this is Disney Mickey Mouse no shows shoe sizes four to ten they also have many and they also have star wars socks no show size four to ten more easter decor they have these bunny tail picks and they look like they're very good quality first time dollar tree has ever had them so they have in, them in pink and they also have them in blue you can put them in a, oh look at these egg picks now these are new for this year how freaking cool is that? Look, pretty beautiful pastel colors. Really, really cool. They even have these wooden eggs and you get two pieces. Maybe you could put names on them for a basket. Um, and look, they for the first time, they have a Easter egg wreath form. That is definitely new. Definitely new. They always have some sort of tool and this is pretty pastel, pastel colors. And they have these cool LED lights, which they usually have um, each holiday. So here's bunnies. And these look like eggs. And it's 10 lights on each string. Super cute. They have some new bath bombs. And I believe there's only one in this. This is a Sweet Valentine strawberry cream scented uh, with Hershey's Kisses bath bomb. So it's only one bath bomb in this package, but I'm making a basket for someone. So I think that will be a great touch. And this is a strawberry scented bath bomb. Add a shimmery tint and scent to your bath. Okay, so, you know, you only get one bath bomb, but if you're making a package, I just think that's really cute. If you're making a basket or a gift bag, I think that's cute. They do have these bath bombs here. Uh, license name brand trolls frozen jojo barbie lol surprise they have those and they also have these glitter bombs but i don't know if i would want glitter in my bathtub i uh, i love glitter but it's it's not easy to get away from mm. so this is also a different one this is cherry cordial scented okay with the Hershey Kisses. So I guess there are different ones. Strawberry cream. I'm going to stick with the strawberry cream one. And which one is this? This is a lavender scented one. And then there's this one. Strawberry. Cotton candy. You guys know how I feel about cotton candy. You know it. Oh my God. It's hard for me to walk away hard for me to walk away also this hand and nail gloves rose scent uh, hand mask is pretty cool a lot of cool things that you can put in a Valentine's Day basket they have the yes wipes 10 wipes I, I me personally I don't find that to be a good deal it's the first time I'm seeing a long strip of carpet this long I guess you can put them together. I'm only seeing two, but this is the first time I'm seeing a long strip like that. Valentine, for the Valentine's Day rugs, you will need a non-slip rug underlay. I thought that we wouldn't, but we sliding all over the place. So if you want to use them, I suggest if you don't have this at home, pick you up one. I did not know they had the tall 22 ounce, or maybe I did. Um, trash bags, kitchen trash bags. I'm going to use these upstairs for Parker's pads and, you know, trash we have upstairs that we need to bring downstairs. I'm going to try one to see how they are. If they're good, then I'll get more. Because they, they change. They used to give you 10. I stopped buying them. I get my garbage bags from Aldi's now. This location has new Valentine's Day signs. So this one says, love you. And it's 
hanging on this white ribbon. This one says kisses, 25 cents. And this one says forever is too short with you. And it's on like a faux wood grain uh, background. Kissing booth signs I was waiting for. And I love the size. They're not that big. So this one says kissing booth. And you can flip it. It says closed or 25 cents. We're giving the kisses away too cheap, guys. This one says kissing booth, 25 cents. And for free. Okay, we don't give nothing away for free now. Those days are over. Then they have kissing booth open or closed. So you have three options. I don't know. I like the red, but then I love pink. That's my color. Real cute. This aisle is full Easter, but it's mostly things that we've seen already. We've seen the egg picks already. We've seen the bunny tails, which this is the last one. So these went really quick. They have a tin pack of bunny paws. Cute if you're doing the Easter egg hunt and you want to leave clues. They have these tiny felt stickers, all different kind of Easter ones. The eggs I showed you the other day. They brought back this sign. I guess they're not ready for the signs yet because they still have Valentine's Day out. But this is a cute sign. It's been out for a couple of years. They have the ribbon. They have the tool. So they're getting ready. And that's all the bunnies they have left. I don't see any brown ones. The long time wish list find. I have been looking for this. So this is a premium pad folio, um, like a faux leather. And it comes with a legal pad that I think you can change once it's empty, can you? It's kind of glued there. I wish you would be able to change the pad out. Oh, they could have did that better. But yeah, I have been looking for this for months, way before Christmas. Pretty cool, they have a customizable planner. So this looks like the uh, shell of the planner. It comes with 20 sheets, includes personal info page, non-dated months, removable pages. Um, so you either can get the black ring one or they have this one. Okay, then they have planner stickers. They have extra sheets. Oh, that's a small stencil. Um, this is a planner cover, so um, mix and match to make the perfect planner. Oh, so it's different planner covers, I guess, right? Two sets, so two different planner covers, and they have these, dare to be different. You got to keep going to keep growing, and I just love that one. Future is bright. This is really, really cool. And even with the price increase, it's it's a good concept, a good idea. And how much comes in the extra sheets? You get 40 sheets. Different stickers for the planner. Really nice. I don't always show you guys the stickers. I have a love-hate relationship with Dollar Tree stickers. To me, they don't have the best adherence or sticking power. I don't know. I've always had problems with them. These are pretty. My last video I got these, but those turquoise ones are pretty. These are pretty for DIYs. And this is the first time I'm seeing the galvanized letters. Never seen those before. So you get 13 letters. So I guess this is A through M. This one is A through M. And this one is M, N through Z. Pretty cool for DIYs. these mini chocolate tags never seen these before but I've seen the hearts um, these are actual clothes pens I don't know if I've seen the clothes pens but I've seen similar uh, tags pink storage bins pink and gray storage bins are new and they're massive those are really big they have these galvanized trucks I haven't really been seeing a lot of wall stickers at any of these locations down here. Not as much as I used to see. If you're a butterfly lover, these are pretty. They have the birds. In solid colored fabric. 
fat quarters or almost fat quarters from Crafted Square. The primary colors, red, blue, green, black, white. And then they have some printed ones. Sunflowers, buffalo plaid, this plaid one. This is with gnomes. It's Christmassy, the red truck. That's Christmassy. I didn't see those Christmas. We have paint from Martha Stewart and it's satin. I guess the color is called Downy and I'm assuming this is the color. Is it like a light gray? This is the only color that I'm seeing. Never seen this before. Not sure if I've seen the assorted pearls before. They have had pearls before, but not, I don't know if I've seen them packaged like this. This is 135 pieces. They also have beads, so if you're into making bracelets, this is pretty cool, and I like how they separated them by color. And then they have these, and it looks like they do give you some string. These are wood beads, 85 pieces. Yeah, if you're into making bracelets, it's pretty cool. Look at this one, glass beads. And then they have these, oh, the beautiful spring flowers it'll be here before you know it and uh, thinking about what I'm gonna do for the bicycle wreath form that I got from Dollar Tree I need to make two spring wreaths I didn't even finish the Valentine's Day wreath I'm ahead of myself ain't I I just passed by these candles now they played with me for years Dollar Tree played games with me for years this is the same wall art that we get it's the same thing i hold that one seen that one i just hold that one we get the same wall art over and over again even those canvases i don't even have to look i know what they look like i don't understand it but candle holders have been out before they brought these back i'm seeing them bring back a lot of older things but i want to see new things i've seen these things already um they have the scented brooms these are new uh, they usually have the cinnamon ones for uh, around Thanksgiving, but this is the eucalyptus. First time seeing pumpkin spice. Yeah, and those are the only two that I'm seeing in these scented rooms. They smell good, but they don't last. The scent does not last. I've seen these holds online, and I just the bottles look so much bigger. Um, they have the Herbal Essence Argan Oil Repair Real Botanicals Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, these are like travel sizes. One thing I will say, at first I only seen the conditioner, but if you look all the way in the back, it depends on your store who put them out. They had the conditioner up front, and if you reached in the back, that was the shampoo. So if you just walk by, you just think they only had the um, conditioner, but they do have both at this location. Um, yeah, this is travel size. These juncture men's performance socks are cute, so you get two pair. I like the stripe, so the bottom is gray, the top is white and vice versa. The bottom is gray and the top is white. Well, it's not vice versa. It's just two different patterns and I like them. <laughs> they also have these and they also have these. So really, really nice, nice. They also have this customizable uh, blank Easter uh, decor sign. Um, something was here, so I don't know what the other one was, but that is pretty cool. You could make your own sign they have the galvanized egg the galvanized bunny they put out the coloring cups and i think these are new i don't remember dollar tree having this brand before this is dudley's coloring cups it comes with five different coloring tablets and i don't know if the buckets represent which color is which um they have eggs they're starting to put out the grass which at a dollar 25 i would check walmart first some Easter crafts that you can do with the kitties. Really cute. I love this painting set with the easel and everything. Really, really cute. Um, and they have the galvanized little chicky here. Treat bags. First time I've seen a DIY craft kit that had bling stickers, ribbon, and sequins. I wish they had a picture of what it's supposed to look like, but I guess they want you to use your own create creativity and come up with something. But this is really cute. Ages three plus. This one is an X and an O, but the O is in hearts. 
Um, so they have the truck in the front. They have this one that says love. And the sequence is the same color. They're giving you the same one in each kit. It's just that the words are different. Uh, I don't know Dollar Tree. Either. But it's cute. Definitely cute. Buffalo plaid ribbon is new. They have the blue and white, green and white, black and white, pink and white, red and white, orange. And then they have the uh, red and black. Somebody just left this here. I believe in a previous post a long time ago, I showed you these other ribbons. Really nice headbands. They have these corduroy ones and these nice rich colors. They also have these. So they're lightening up a little bit, getting ready for spring. This is nice tropical summertime vibes. Ugh going on very nice hey guys welcome back to my channel i have a small dollar tree haul for you hope you enjoyed enjoyed the walkthrough um my hauls are a little bit lighter lately it's just because i'm just not going to buy anything and i think with the increase i may put things in my cart but by the time i get to the register do i really need this you know, because I almost bought that planner and all the stickers and everything to go through it. But if my memory serves me correctly, I've bought several planners, even from bigger box stores and never used them. So I had it in my cart and I put it back. So I think the increase is making all of us think a little bit more. But let's get into the haul. I'm going to start with electronics. Um, I picked up another one of these chargers a few weeks back. I hold this cute pink one with the ice cream and I keep it in my glam area because I like to keep my charger that came with my phone definitely in my work bag because I don't want to be at work for 12 hours and my phone goes dead. Um, but I bought another one because this is going to be for downstairs. A lot of times we'll be downstairs and my phone will be going dead. Mr. Fuller's phone will be going dead. Whether we're cooking, eating, watching TV, nobody feels like going upstairs for the charger. It's like, hey, do you have a charger down here? So this will be kept downstairs. And what I will say, I did not have high expectations because a lot of these chargers don't take forever to charge your phone. This bad boy charges my phone faster than any, uh, non-Samsung brand charger. I'll just say that. Um, of course, the Samsung charger that came with my phone charges my phone the fastest, but this is the runner up. So I got another one and this will be kept downstairs. So we don't have to do this. Do you have a charger? Who's going to go upstairs to get one? We don't have to do that. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up. We are in February now. Before the end of this day, that wreath will be on my front door and I will share a clip. It's going to be a matter of just throwing the wreath together, just to throw the wreath together. I think it's going to look cute, but I just was, I don't know. I just have not felt creative. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what it is. But um, to go along with the body care bags, gift bags that I'm making for my boys, I thought these socks were really nice. I found them in Dollar Tree. They always have cute socks, but these are from Juncture. Um, one son likes red, so he's going to get these in his bag. Um, I did send socks to them for Christmas and the other son, I always got blue. Um, just so happens that lime green goes along with it, but yeah, so I will be putting, you know, it's two pair in each pack that will be going in their body care, little gift bags that I'm making for them. Um, I thought this looked bigger. I've seen other people hauling it. I thought it looked bigger, but it's travel size. A little bit travel size. It's a little bit over three ounces, but this is the Herbal Essence Argan Oil Repair. Um, this is, and I found both, the shampoo and the conditioner. So the next time I wash my hair, I'm going to be using um, this. And if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted a review of the Lusty Natural Hair Care. Um, and I like it. I really do like it. So I have not tried the uh, intense moisture treatment, but I'm going to put these together. I know it sounds crazy. Why would you use two conditioners? I don't know. I'm going to read the direction. So definitely going to try the shampoo. If, it's, if this is the conditioner, then I'm going to do one in one, but um, yeah. Um, so finally found these again, they're a little bit over travel size. Um, I thought when I seen people hauling them online, the bottles just look full size, wishful thinking. Down the craft aisle, something else that I've seen other people post on Instagram or Facebook. I can't remember. It could be both. 
um, is the Martha Stewart paint down Crafter Square aisle. And I only found this one color. I guess the color is called Downy, and it looks like it's this like light grayish color. I asked a question on my Instagram, is there any other colors? And somebody found Candy Apple Red, which would be perfect for Valentine's Day crafts. So I hope to find some more colors. Um, no new cosmetic finds, but Kiss Gel has out like light springy pastel colors. And I just thought this color was really cute. I don't think the camera's gonna do it justice. They're calling this, does it have a name? It just has a number, but I wish it would, you know, sometimes they have cute names for the colors, but it's like a light lilac kinda. Yeah, it's like a light lilac color. Let's look at my nail. That's gel from my hair. But anyway, um, yeah, so when I get my pedicure, which I should do today, um, I'm going to use this color on my toes. Down, like, I don't know, the body and bath section, I found this bath bomb, Celebrate with Hershey Kisses, Sweet Valentine. It's a bath bomb, and it feel, it's in the shape of a Hershey's Kiss. So in a gift basket I'm making for Valentine's Day that will have some Bath and Body Works items, I'm going to toss this in. I think that's so freaking cool. Yes, and I seen somebody... Um, they took it out of the pack. I don't want to open it because this is going to be a gift and I want to give it to them sealed. Um, but it looked just like a Hershey Kiss and she could smell it. And they did have different flavors. So please refer to the in-store. This is strawberry cream. So that's really, really cute. Almost like a chocolate covered strawberry, I guess. I don't know if these are the ones that I have tried. I don't think it was Spa Naturals, but Dollar Tree had other shower fizzers. You hear me say, Mr. Full is a bath person. I'm more of a shower person, okay? Um, so so I can get some aromatherapy or something like that when I'm taking a shower. I'm going to give this a chance. I don't think this was the brand. But this is Eucalyptus Experiment. You get three scissors in here. Trust me, I'm going to try it and I will let you guys know. I'll try to remember to let you guys know. Um, to use, place a tablet onto your shower floor or shelf where it gets hot, where it gets wet, but it's not the main water stream. As it fizzes, the aroma from the essential oils is released into the shower and surrounding bathroom, providing pure aromatherapy treatment. I'm going to give it a try, but I really feel it was a different brand, so let me give it a try. Okay, just random batteries. This is just mostly for the remote control. Um, I did haul one of these uh, non-slip underlays. I think they changed them. It had a really strange odor when I ordered opened the pack, and the... It's this feels slippery. I bought this because I didn't think I would need anything under the Valentine's Day mat. I think those mats from Dollar Tree, they're very, very cute. But for a couple of dollars more, because now they're $125. This is $125. It's $250. At Ross, a lot of times for five dollars you can get a holiday mat. I'm over it. I'm done with it. Um, even it, it was slipping all over the place. Just the mat alone. Okay, fine. I'll get a rug ripper. It's still moving, so I'm just done with it. It's just I I would not recommend it. It's up to you. Now, um, I have been looking, 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 looking for these, okay? And these were out before Christmas. I wanted to give this to Mr. Fuller as a stocking stuffer. He has an obsession, not just with Bluetooth headphones. He likes notebooks and, you know, pens and he loves to go to Staples and I feel pay way too much money. Dollar Tree has a nice stationary aisle, but he's just too bougie for that. So he goes to Staples or Office Max. So I wanted to give him this as a stocking stuffer, could not find them. And this has come at the perfect time because there's a nurse. We joke about it. She always has her notebook when she comes in, as she should. She's writing down vital signs. She's going checking the, the pulse ox and heart rate monitors, writing things down. The O2, uh, you know, leaders, how much they're on this, you know. She's, she's all about her notebooks. So she's going to be leaving. And so I'm giving her one of these. Hold on. Anyway, she's going to be leaving and her last day is Thursday. So this is going to be a perfect gift. I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works and I want to get her the Black History Month Unity candle. Um, Actually, I had an issue with some candles I got online and she exchanged them candle for candle, even though I paid less. So I got brand new candles for clearance candles because there was an issue, which I thought was just great customer service. Um, it's just great customer service. So I was rushing. I didn't want to hold up the line because there was a line behind me. So I just grabbed a third candle. Um, 
So I'm going to be taking back that grab that I did because I'm going to be taking it back and I want to exchange it for a Unity candle. I hope they have some left because here we are midweek, but um, I want to give her that. I think she would appreciate that. And this, this is what I was looking for before Christmas. It's a pad portfolio. Um, I do have some critiques. Okay. Um, but for a dollar, dollar 25, look at it. It's just well worth it. And this is just, she would appreciate this. So when you open it up, you have the legal pad. Now I thought that you would be able to just swap out the legal pad. But I think they have this legal, maybe you can, I don't think so. I think the legal pad is like glued to this, which is, you know, not ideal because Dollar Tree does sell legal pads. So when this is full, you'd be able to just swap it out. But no, that's not the case. So I'm gonna be giving her one of these and I could not find any name brand pens. I am going out today. If I find name brand pens, because Dollar Tree sometimes has name brand pens, I would like to give her name brand pens, but these are decent. I have bought these before. Um, these are the Pro Max gel pens. So in a nice gift bag, and I could not find any cards at Dollar Tree that said, you know, congratulations on your new job or whatever. It, it just, I couldn't find anything, but I wanted to get her a card and give her this in a gift bag and then the uh, Bath and Body Works candle. I have to go through my inventory because you know I got a whole store behind me. Um, that's another thing. I wanted to go to the outlets today, but I had to say, girl, uh, do you need any more body wash and lotion? I'm not trying to be funny. You have everything. You have the sanitizer. You have the lotion. You have hand soap, candles. What are you doing? So um, I'm staying close to home today when I do go out. But um, I don't know if I'm going to give her any body care. You know what I mean? I might just give her the candle and this um, because you don't know people's preferences and stuff like that. Um, everybody's particular. So I think this, the pens and the candle would be just a nice, because she, you know what? She work days, I work nights. So either she's relieving me in the morning or I relieve her at night. Not all the time because I float. So as well as her. So it just, we might meet up, we might not. But, you know, being down here, being at this facility since May, you know, she, I recognize her. She's a very, very good nurse. If you had a sick loved one, you would want her to be your nurse. Unfortunately, not everybody going into nursing is going into nursing because they want to care and help people. Um, I went into it not even thinking about money, to be honest with you. I, I didn't even know how much nurses made. Nobody in my family told me, oh, you should be a nurse. They make good money. I decided at 14, 15 that I wanted to be a nurse. I didn't know what I wanted to be, but I just wanted to be a nurse. I married somebody who is a great nurse. Um, nowadays, people go into healthcare for job stability and the money. They're, they're not, you know, it's just a job to them. They just can't wait to get out, you know, they, you know, and don't get me wrong. I like my time off, but I've been doing this 20 something years. Okay. Um, and, it, and, and with COVID, it's not hard to get burnt out. It's been a rough couple of years, but anyway, she's a very, very good nurse. And I really feel the reason why she's leaving is because she's not being recognized as a good nurse. And it's really, really sad that good nurses aren't always appreciate appreciated it's not an easy job it's 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 not it's really not an easy job and i really feel for her not knowing her that long like i said we don't work the same shift it's just a brief interaction you give me a report we might talk about chit chat for a little bit but you're going out the door but just a little bit i can tell that she's a good nurse and um, I can tell that she goes above and beyond to dot her I's and cross her T's. Spines of these are not perfect. Some of them, I'll take this one. And it might be a small detail. And I'm trying to show you, see how the spines are messed up? Not like this. Anyway, my last item was the polo shirts. Now I found me uh, a hot pink one, but this is for Mr. Fuller. He loves the color green. I would love to get him a darker green one, but he'll appreciate this. So they have this light, I'm gonna say mint green. This is a size 2X. 
and uh for a dollar 25 well worth it i would love to get they had gray they had burgundy um even black but again the sizes vary and they didn't have his size so i'm hoping hoping that i can find his size in other colors i really feel that this is going to be a very decent quality definitely going to wash well and he's going to look handsome in it okay so this is my dollar tree haul was not a big haul the hauls are lighter but again, if I see something decent, yes. Will I buy it? Yes. But just, it has you questioning a lot of things. Like, I don't agree with certain things being $1.25. There's spices. You can get spices from Walmart for $0.98. Cents. You can get spices from Aldi's for under a dollar. Um, I think that was a mistake. Um, most of the canned goods are still a dollar. Um But some things, it's, it's honestly, it's it's not worth it. So I... You know, the cleaning stuff, bleach, you can get from under a under dollar now. And uh, remember that Dollar General has their $1 aisle that still has most of the same products that you can find at Dollar Tree. So I think a lot of people are getting smarter with their dollar. Um, I have a bag that I'm taking back. It's not a lot of stuff. I think it's four or five things of things that I just impulse buys that I'm going to exchange. And I don't always like to do that. You know, a lot of times I have just donated the stuff, you know, when I go to Goodwill, just throw, but I'm going to get my uh, exchange. I could get some um, tissue for your nose, which that's not a good deal either. I really think, I'm not saying the price increase should not have happened. Um, and I still think there are lots of things at Dollar Tree that are worth a dollar twenty-five, definitely. Um, but they really should have went item by item to say, you know, and there are still things for a dollar. Um, not much, but there are still things for a dollar. But I really feel they should have went case by case. Um, because even a bag of chips at Aldi's, you can get a huge bag of chips for like a dollar fifty. So do I want to pay a dollar twenty-five for a smaller bag? Um it's just, I think they should reevaluate, you know, maybe they will moving forward um, when they see things are not selling, but it, 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 everything there is not worth a dollar, 25, it's not. And even um, the craft paint. Okay, yes, this is Martha Stewart, but that other acrylic paint that they sell, I don't know if it's worth a dollar 25, to be honest with you, it's not. Um, Walmart, you can get acrylic paint, a better quality paint for 50 cents. They do have higher price ones, but they do have 50 cents. I've seen a 50 cent paint at uh, Michael's uh, craft store. So why am I going to Dollar Tree and pay $1.25 for a small bottle of acrylic paint? So I think they really need to evaluate on a case by case basis. Okay, the nail polish. You could pay five dollars for nail polish other places. So, and this is a name brand. So, okay, fine. Um, but not everything. But thanks for rocking with your girl. Thanks for watching this whole. Stay tuned. The announcement. I'm gonna announce the winners of the Bath and Body Works. There will be two winners. Uh, giveaway. Uh, so stay tuned. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Um, I do have a Bath and Body Works haul coming up, and I'm sure from my Dollar Tree travels. This week, I'll have another Dollar Tree haul. And uh, the Valentine's Day Reef will be like a quickie. Um, so I don't know if I, the shorts are only one minute. They only give you one minute. So that might be attached to uh, the Dollar Tree haul, depending on how big the haul is. But thanks for rocking with your girl. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. And stay tuned for the winners. Bye-bye. The winners for the second Bath & Body Works surprise giveaway are Paula Avils. And Monique Jordan, 17. Paula, you finally won. Um, she's entered into mostly all of the giveaways and she finally won. Congratulations. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. And upcoming, we have a Bath & Body Works haul. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.